Good afternoon. Welcome to the second of our daily media briefings leading up to the November 5th general election, which is now one week away. I'm Al Schmidt, Secretary of the Commonwealth. At the top of everyone's mind is that 5 p.m. today is the deadline for registered voters to apply for their mail ballot if they'd like to cast their vote that way. So far, more than 2.1 million mail ballot requests have been approved, and almost 1.5 million ballots have been returned. That's a roughly 70% return rate so far. Any registered voter can apply for their mail ballot online until 5 p.m. today at vote.pa.gov. If you'd like to vote by mail ballot in person today at your county election office, I encourage you to check that office's hours. You can apply for your mail ballot in person at your county election office, wait while your application is being processed, receive your mail ballot, fill it out, and return it all in one visit. The department has received many questions about voters encountering delays at county election offices as they attempt to vote in person by mail ballot. Last week, the Department of State asked counties to plan to ensure every registered voter who is in line by 5 p.m. today is provided with the opportunity to apply for and submit a mail ballot application. So, if you're in line today and that 5 p.m. deadline is approaching, counties must give you the opportunity to apply for your mail ballot. We'll continue to work with our counties to ensure that every voter who wants to vote by mail ballot can do so. I urge you, please, please be patient with county election officials today. In the last 24 hours, nearly 20,000 registered voters have applied to vote by mail ballot in person at their county election office. They're all working diligently to make sure every registered voter who wants to vote by mail ballot on demand can do so. During my visits to all 67 election offices in Pennsylvania over the past year, I have spoken with election directors about what they anticipate their needs to be for the coming election. We are in regular communication with all of our county partners and providing guidance and assistance. That's why ahead of the 2024 election, the administration provided $45 million, which was the amount appropriated by the General Assembly, to our county partners across the Commonwealth to help them administer this election. But to be clear, in Pennsylvania, our elections are run at the county level, and county boards of elections are responsible for individual staffing and resource decisions. I encourage you to remember, you could always fill out your mail ballot application online at vote.pa.gov, receive your mail ballot at home, then return it before 8 p.m. on election day. All mail ballots must be returned to the county by 8 p.m. on Election Day, as long as you, re you request the ballot before 5 p.m. today. You still have time to receive it, complete it, and return it before the deadline. Remember that elections offices are not a polling place, and that if you don't apply for your mail ballot by 5 p.m. today, Pennsylvania's 9,153 polling locations will be open for 13 hours on Election Day, which is 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. on Tuesday, November 5th. At this point, with the election only a week away, I encourage voters voting by mail to hand deliver their completed mail ballots to the county election offices or any other official ballot return location designated by their county if they're able to do so. You can find a list of official mail ballot return locations in your county on the Department of State's website, vote.pa.gov. And now I answer, I'll answer a few of your questions that we receive from the media. First, we received questions about Dropbox safety in Pennsylvania. We're aware of incidences reported yesterday at two Dropbox locations in states out west, and we strongly condemn any actions designed to disenfranchise eligible voters. We have not encountered similar incidences in Pennsylvania. The department strongly encourages counties to have video surveillance on all drop boxes. And in many counties, those drop boxes are also staffed by election personnel as an additional security measure. We've also received many questions about the continuing investigations in Lancaster and York counties into potentially fraudulent voter registration applications. 
The department has been in touch with these counties from the very beginning to provide guidance to them as they conduct their investigations and will continue to support them as needed. Ultimately, the county election offices and the investigative law enforcement agencies will determine whether any criminal charges are warranted. Finally, we've received several questions about a federal judge's dismissal this morning of the lawsuit filed by six congressmen over military and overseas ballots. The department is pleased that this frivolous lawsuit was dismissed. Thank you for your time today. We appreciate the media's efforts to get accurate information to the public. We'll be back again tomorrow at 1 p.m. for our third daily media briefing to answer more of your questions.